<laughs> That's the pressure of the uh, situation there. Just wanting a boundary. Have we had a boundary yet? No. Good shot. Hit that well. Boundary is in there on the leg side. I think that's gone all the way. It was a little short from Anderson. And the first boundary is a six for India today. Top edge, but it's over Kiesvetter. And we'll run away for another boundary. Two boundaries in the over. The first one uh, intended from Patel. Beauty. Look at the pace again. 94 miles an hour between wicketkeeper and first slip. England just have one slip. But excellent pace bowling, really is. Oh. Through the offside, bring a boundary. Good counter attack by India. 33 without loss. Clicked away, leg side. Good shot, will bring four. High in the air, pulled high in the air. This is safe. This is six. And again, some agricultural shots from Rahani. He's been effective. And again, over the top of slips. He's playing the card, he's having some luck. Patel this time. One bounce four, they're having some fun out there. Huge appeal. And given fall and straight. 87 miles an hour. Stuart Broad thought this was out. I think Rahani did as well. He almost walked off. England take the first wicket. One right up. Should be out. Simple. Another wicket. Well, that's there. He scores a lot of runs with the short ball. On this occasion, it goes straight up in the air. Good shot. Found the gap. Not the biggest of all fields, especially towards the grandstand. Oh, he found the gap on this occasion. Hasn't been timing it that well since he has been at the crease, Raul Javid. The one thing you do know, Raul Javid, he'll stay there. That was a bit wider, so he threw the blade at it on that occasion. Ah! Oh, that's just a thin edge. And the wicket that uh, England wanted, nice little take from Kiesvetter. Another disappointment for Virat Kohli, just trying to guide it away, a shake of the head from him. Uh, but he's gone for 16. Pressure, so put yourself in the batsman's <laughs> mind. Good catch, very good catch. Looking to just hit the ball back down the pitch. I think there was a kind of thickish outside edge, really, and Swan has taken a good return catch, another excellent wicket for England at a good time. Edged and wide of Kiesvetter. Dhoni was on the charge there. Much needed boundary for India. Well, <clears throat> I don't think there's anyone there. Oh, will it get there? Yes, is the answer. And that's going to go through the gap on the offside. It's starting to accelerate, or trying to. Well, it had to come. And it's gone. A long way. Yeah, when he makes his mind up to, to hit the ball, it tends to stay hit. Very cleverly played. Banged in short. He's given himself room and then just helped it up and over. That's a big hit with that right hand of his. Has he found the gap? Yes, he has. Right hand again, but that deserved the right hand, a cut shot. He's gone a long way up and a long way back. Brings up the half century as well with that six rainer. Well, I think that has gone. Just over mid off said, not tall enough, Alice the Cook would need Joel Garner and a bit more to take that. 
How far has that gone? A very interesting landing position that. This is tremendous hitting from Suresh Raina. Will toss. No one deep on the offside and that brings up his half century. 52 now to Dhoni. Lots of deep fielders on the onside but none of them have a chance. That's a big blow again. Has it gone all the way? I think they are a little bit disappointed down in the long on region. I think that has found the gap again. Back over again. That driven straight back down the ground. And another boundary. Got through Tim Bresnan. Jimmy Anderson feel far from happy. That's a full toss and it's gone a long, long way. It was outside off stump, but we know what Dhoni does with that bottom hand of his. That's a good shot. Oh, caught. What a catch. Stokes the man out there. Don't bowl there to Alistair Cook. Nothing short, nothing wide. He'll put you away all day. And that will go fine. Pass that leg slip, who often just stands there and watches the ball go by. Down the pitch, spliced. Catch should be taken, sets himself, and does take the catch. Big, big wicket. The danger man, Kiesvet, has gone. You won't be happy with this. We've already got eight runs off the over. Jadeja taking the catch. Never easy with the white ball, but you've seen him coming. Especially when chasing down a big score, but if Cook keeps playing that square cut, there won't be an issue. Four more on the cut for Cook. In the air and gone. Two wickets in two overs for RP Singh. Both England openers gone. Over the man at square leg, and that will be another boundary. Back to back boundaries for Trot. Nice shot. Hit that on the up. Nicely played. Easily done. Jonathan Trot. Gone. Impressive shot from Jonathan Trot. gone very fine Munaf Patel will not get there Ashwin this was flatter and a little wider and was cut away nicely by Bapara uh, pulls away and into the gap the gap has been found an expensive mistake from RP Singh 21 gone it's 109 for 3 That's going to go for four. Fifty for Ian Bell. Played beautifully, timed the ball well with three boundaries. He's only halfway there, but it's a good start. Oh, nicely played. Very nicely played. Just opens the face. He was going to do the paddle sweep. One of the Oldens gives chase. And uh, doesn't stop the boundary, so that's 50 now for Bopara to go with Ian Bell's half century. Hit down the ground, has he found the man in the deep? You bet he has. A really soft dismissal from Ian Bell. He was probably trying to go wider of the man out there, but he's found him out perfectly. Stokes down the pitch. 
gets it away through that offside, gets himself his first boundary. Hit it very cleanly. Not what England wanted at this stage. Stokes out there looking to be aggressive. That's a big hit. Has he cleared the fielder? Yes, just about. RP Singh, the man down there at Long On. Well, that was close. RP Singh was about, I don't know, seven or eight metres in from the edge. No deep backward square. Bowled him! Castled him! Another turn. Round the wicket worked. Change of angle ball darting back in at Tim Bresnan. All through the gap. This will be four. Not be stopping this. The rain's coming down again. England are just ahead. England are just ahead. It's coming down quite heavy now. And they're going off again. England are just ahead. Par score is 240. England 242 for six. Off they go again. <laughs> this is not over yet by any means. There's a lot of rain around. Players are back out there. He's looking for that all the time. Bonked it over mid off. 262 for six. Hit the stumps, misses, gone, hits the stumps. <laughs> Does hit the stumps, Bumble. It was a brilliant bit of fielding from Monaf Patel. I think Swan was a bit unlucky because the ball got caught up in his legs and I think he just knocked it towards the bowler. Parra down the pitch, out into the fielder in the deep, takes the catch, but Parra's gone. Oh, what a turnaround. Munaf Patel gets a wicket at last. What a wicket it is, it's Bapara. Well, the sight of Stephen Finn maybe forced Ravi Bapara into doing something he wouldn't have done had Swan still been there. <laughs> the England balcony are livid here. They don't think conditions are fit. I think the umpires just get the game done now. Six deliveries, just play the game. But England don't feel that's the case. They think they should be off. And I suppose if you're being fair and being consistent, it was certainly lighter than this when they came off last time but umpires are getting together it's pouring down out there they tried hard to get this game through think about the crowd also crowd once again it's swelling down and they're going off scores are tied 270 for eight England on Duckworth Lewis. England still need 11 from seven, but it's absolutely pouring down. It's as black as night out there. Rain is coming down. England players, the two batsmen are leaving. There's nobody rushing off. It's pouring down. 